Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I'm your yarn host Jennifer and this is part of a series that we're doing called In the Closet with Cinnamon. Alright, so I promised you guys we'd come back in the closet. I actually flipped the camera around and we're actually physically in the closet now. So I'm in the closet, you guys are in the hallway, but that's neither here nor there. So you guys wanted to see what was in my closet. So I'm going to show you, we got several tubs there. I took the hats and stuff out. I cleared out all the stuff that was shoved in here and well, so I could slide in. As you can see, it is a small closet that is under the stairs. <laughs> I'm under the stairs. Okay, so we're going to start. This is a miscellaneous bag. This has random, random crochetery in it. I'm going to show you this. This is kind of neat. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is this. My mom made this 40 years ago. Actually, almost 41 years ago because she made it when she was pregnant with me. Aww. It is not soft. <laughs> it is very much 1970 yarn. I have no idea what pattern this is. And if you had asked her before she passed away, she wouldn't have remembered either. She doesn't even know where she got the pattern. Got a cute little hood. Isn't that adorable? There is a matching blanket to this somewhere in this closet. I just, I'm, I don't know where it is right now, but it is matching. Isn't that cute? So, can you believe this fit me? I actually have a picture of my daughter wearing this too when she was a baby. And I think I have a picture of my son wearing it. I'm not positive about that. And then, this was from a couple years ago. I made a bunch of elf hats. This is a Jade Stitches pattern. I made one for everybody in my family. But of course, only three are in here. And then these are my favorite. These are my favorite. I actually wear these to wrap Christmas gifts. How cute is that? <laughs> I wear this and my elf hat together. Yay! Are those not cute? I don't know where I got the pattern, if I got the pattern, or if this is freehand, but cute, right? Oh. And then, what else is in here? Oh, you guys saw this hat. I showed you guys this hat, I think in November I made this. Christmas hat. Oh, there's my other elf hat. That's the fourth one. And then, I showed you guys this in November too, I think it was. And then a handful of coffee cup cozies that I thought would sell that did not. <laughs> and nobody's interested in these for some reason. Got one with a maple leaf on it. One with an apple. It's a black and gray one. Blue and blue and white. This one's really pretty. Now that is not an accurate color at all. <laughs> it's way warmer than... Oh, well, that's kind of accurate. It's way warmer than what it's showing. I don't know why it's showing so blue. And then a pumpkin one. So those are in there because nobody wanted them. Eventually they'll probably end up as Christmas gifts to people who drink coffee or tea. Probably for my sister. If I ever see her again. I haven't seen my sister since May last year. But you know how family goes. I'm not talking about my little sister. I'm not my older sister. Yeah, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Okay, guys. So you guys voted, and I didn't count them up. So I don't know. We're going to do both videos today, and whatever one gets released, gets released. So we have this bucket, which I think has scarves and, I think, wearables. And I don't know what's in the other two. So we'll find out together. Got a head in here. Uh-oh. Somebody lost their head. Doo -doo -doo. I had a name for her, and I don't remember what it was. I have, there's a guy head in here too somewhere. Ugh. His name is Henry. Well, Henry is a little worse for wear. I painted them. They're just styrofoam heads. But 
I don't really use them anymore since I found Holly, which is my plastic. <laughs> oh, I dropped Henry. Um, the plastic one that you guys normally see with the shoulders is a Halloween decoration, which is why her name is Holly. She actually lights up and goes, oh. <laughs> she had like a, um, a, a sheet like thing over her and like maneuver maneuverable hands. But I saw her and I was like, I gotta take everything off of her because she's perfect. And she's the perfect model size head. So, all right, without further ado, it's going to get hot in here. So I'm going to be taking off all my clothes. I am getting too hot. I want to take my clothes off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I made this last year, September-ish. This is Scarfy. And I was going to write the pattern for you guys, and I never got around to it. This is a plus size five point poncho is this not cute i still love this i still see there's a point in the front and the two points here i join together and it's flat across the back so it's five five points five one two three four five yeah five points crochet in a circle till it fits over your head and then divide the number in five so if you have Let's see, five, if you crochet 100, every 20 stitches, you will add an increase or a peak. So you'll do 20 double crochets and then two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the one hole. And you'll do that so that you have five peaks. And then when it gets so big, you sew two of the peaks together here and two of the peaks together over here. And you have this shirt and you just keep going that's all there is to this I'm not writing the pattern I know I promised but I'm not doing it but I really I really like this This is one of my favorite things and this is the only scarfy brand yarn the scarfy yarn I've ever had and I love it but I have not bought anymore why I have no idea <laughs> I have no idea I get stuck buying the same things over and over again and I forget so I'll show you what this looks like not on me See the point in the front, flat in the back. It's really fun to wear. And it's figure flattering for bigger people because it emphasizes your boobs and because the peak is in the front, it makes your waist like look slimmer. So there's that. Oh, I don't know if I have room to show you all this. Okay, and then we got this gorgeous thing, which also does not have, a, none of this stuff has patterns. And if it has a pattern, I will link it below. But most of it is just stuff that came out of my crazy head. This is a half moon shaped shawl. And this is made out of the, the flat wheels from the sugar wheels, I think they are, from Hobby Lobby. You know, the, the disc looking ones that I got clearanced out. This is beautiful. This is one of my favorites. I've never wore it. <laughs> it's been in the closet since I made it. I should probably gift it to someone, but I can't because it's so pretty. I really like it. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Okay, apparently there's a lot of scarves in scarf. Again, no pattern. <laughs> I got this out of the stitch book that I'm working on currently. I believe. I don't remember the name of the stitch, but... I created this and this is um, Red Heart Super Saver Stripes. I don't know what color stripes it is, but it's stripes. And I really liked that pattern. So I also made a cowl, uh, the same pattern. Same type of yarn, I think. I think that's a stripe. Eh, no, this is not. I think this is Line Brand Unique. Unique. Got a joke for you. How do you catch a unique rabbit? Unique up on it. <laughs> I know, that was corny. That's one of my favorite jokes. Another cowl. I love the star stitch and I put it in a lot of stuff. I made this cowl. Again, don't have a pattern. This is where I encourage you guys to just find patterns, find stitches, and put them together. Cause that's like star stitch and 
half double crochets. That's it. So star stitch, half double, half, star stitch, half double. And star stitch is way easier than it sounds or looks. Oh, I showed you guys one of these cowls. This yarn is from AC Moore and it was discontinued. I got a whole bunch of it clearanced out. I don't remember the name of it, but I like love this yarn. You can't find it anymore. This is my my pride hat. Woo -woo. And I know there's a cowl to match it somewhere in here. Let me look. <laughs> I was going all out, buttons and all. What do you think? I love these colors. And I think this was, ooh, fiber in my mouth. I think this was Red Heart Stripes too. I'm pretty positive, but oh, uh, who does not love these colors? Rainbow, rainbow. I actually put the buttons on to hide the uh, San Andreas fault. <laughs> That's the purpose of the buttons. I made this a while ago. And again, we got some star stitch happening in there. Actually, wow, that is a cool, cool pattern. There's all kinds of stuff going on in there. I really should write stuff down. Homespun. I love homespun so much. And I know you guys hate it, but I love homespun. Homespun cowl. I have a bunch of these. I have a bunch. Another cowl. I got into a kick. I think it was last year. I just made like hundreds of cowls. <laughs> I made this. This is yarn I got from the thrift store. I made this cowl and then I made my son a little sweater vest to match it. And it was so cute. We we're all matchy poo poo. Again, star stitch. I was really into the star stitch last year too. And then this yarn. I don't even know what kind of yarn this is. This is beautiful. This is another one of them cowls that's like, I wish I had wrote the pattern down for that. But I just mixed a bunch of, bunch of stitches. Alright, and this. <laughs> this is my Buzz Lightyear cowl. Because it looks like Buzz Lightyear cow colors. <laughs> this is the first thing that I ever made out of Tunisian. That was actually something other than just practicing Tunisian. Or a washcloth. It's just basic Tunisian. But I did this. This is, um, I think this is Red Heart Fair Isle. But it reminds me very much of Buzz Lightyear colors. And apparently leaving it in this box for so long did it wondrous. Because it was curling like mad. <laughs> That's why it's in the box. Because I love the colors. But it was curling on itself so bad I couldn't stand it. And now it's like standing up on its own. So, that's my Buzz Lightyear cowl. You guys are going to get bored. I just know it. This is not as fun as the, the hat thing. <laughs> and then, what is this? Oh, this is the... I made a couple of these. Crystal, Bag of Day. I think it's the Wide Neck Cowl or Bandana Cowl. or I, I'll link it below if I can think about it. But I made this with... I don't know. Two different kinds of yarn I mixed together. I think this is... Oh man, I'm not going to remember the name of it. I'm so bad. At, every time I come across this yarn, I forget the name of it. It is Bernat. It's the fuzzy... It's the fuzzy yarn. I, You guys, I'm telling you. I can never remember the name of this dang yarn. You guys are going to laugh at me. It's the fuzzy one. And then this is AC Moore yarn. But I thought they went good together and they mixed well together and again I made these and I love them but I have not worn them I don't wear them so this is one again that's a crystal from Bag of Day pattern and then I made one out of this yarn which this is like my favorite this one's my favorite because it reminds me of blue jeans but I even put a little fringy poo poo on there fringy fringy but this is a really thick wool uh, cotton blend and it's a uh, ribbon yarn this flat ribbon yarn so it it does not there's no it's stiff <laughs> it's stiff but I thought it was it's it's neat but you know you know the way there's a bag hanging above my head full of pom-poms that I don't use 
this is me trying to use up this this is a funny story okay you guys may know about this pink yarn <laughs> this is red heart super saver pink every time i get rid of this yarn and use it up another one appears magically in my life so i keep making projects out of this red heart super saver pink <laughs> this is like a super long this is a super long scarf okay I keep using it up trying to get rid of it because I don't like this color because I keep coming across it and then it keeps appearing again in my life. So because I know that this is destined to just stay in my life forever, I have one big giant skein of this on my bookshelf that's just going to stay there forever because if I use it, it's going to appear again and I'm going to have to find something else to make. So to save myself the trouble and stop it from coming back into my life, I'm just going to keep one. Okay, that makes sense to everybody? <laughs> no? <laughs> Me either, but you know, what are you gonna do? And then I made two little heart appliques that never went on anything, but they're the same yarn. And this, I found this. I think I found this at the Dollar Tree. This is an old discontinued yarn from Premier called Flowers. And I have two more skeins on my bookshelf of it in purple. I thought this was the coolest, funkiest yarn. And there's just little like tufts of like stuff tied on there. So I made a big giant, giant cowl. And a little matching headband. Which, let's see if I can get it over my do-rag. And my braids. Ah! There we go. What do you think? Funky, right? <laughs> oh man, this is like one of my favorite makes that I've ever made. Now, as I'm going through this, there's a lot in here that are going to be put in a donate pile. Because I really don't need a lot of the stuff, but this I'm keeping. I love that. I think it is so cool. And you can't get that yarn anymore, so. <sighs> there's a plastic bag in here for no good reason. Alright, oh, I'll find another cup holder. This needs to go in that plastic bag. This is with the leftover rainbow yarn that I made the pride set out of you guys remember the crazy cat lady hat here's the cowl <laughs> some of you are new you have no idea what I'm talking about okay so I found this yarn on clearance at Hobby Lobby and I knew that it had to be a crazy cat lady hat so I made a crazy cat lady hat so just picture this a hat that's pretty much what it looks like <laughs> and I made a matching cowl so, when I wear the two of them together, I am styling. Everybody looks and just wishes they had a crazy cat lady set like I got. <laughs> I'm going to keep that though. Doesn't that look like cat fur? Like rainbow cat fur? Like a mangy... <laughs> a mangy rainbow cat? Mangy rainbow cat. There we go. Alright, then. This is homespun scraps made into a cowl this is definitely getting donated or something this this is the yarn everybody likes and is familiar with i got fiber in my nose this is that um baby yarn the 100 percent polyester baby yarn that everybody seems to like but me i made mittens and a cowl out of this and I do not like working with this yarn. And I think Premier makes it and it's called Parfait. I don't like this yarn. It, the ends seem to always come out and just appear. So no matter how much you weave them in, they keep reappearing. And I don't like the flimsiness of it. So, I mean... Yeah, that would be good for a lot of things, but I just don't personally like working with it. And that's not to say that it's a bad yarn. I personally don't like it, and I have several balls of it that I'm going to get rid of. Yeah. Here's my... You guys. It's the chicken cowl. <laughs> it's the chicken cowl. Does that not look... Oh, it matches my dress. Does that not look like chicken feathers? <laughs> Some of you probably remember this cowl. I know. Looks like chicken feathers. And this is the same yarn 
that I can't remember the name of it that was on that other cowl that I made from Crystal and Bag of Day. You know, the Bernat one that I can't ever remember the name of. And I'm, you guys are all going to put it in the comments. I already know. I already know. Yeah, you guys know what that is. Whew. This is hand dyed yarn that I dyed and then I made into a cowl. And I did the the fading color, which I was super proud of doing that because that's not easy to do. Oh, made that cowl. Oh my goodness. Another cowl. I didn't realize there were so many cowls in here. I really like this yarn. They might know what this yarn is. Because I got this at the thrift store and I don't remember what that yarn is. But if you know what that yarn is, put it below. Put it below. Yeah, there's a bunch of cowls in here. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. This is the Bag of Day wide neck cowl bandana thing. Made out of Nordica. So if you guys bought Nordica, because I told you to, this is something else you can do to where you still get the pattern. But it's not, you know, you don't really have to think about it. And I didn't follow the pattern on this one. I kind of winged it and it did not. It doesn't lay right. So it's beautiful on Brunhilda because it's like for, you know, it works for skinny people, but not for, uh, not for us bigger girls. <laughs> that, that one, no, I, I messed it up. All right, guys. You want to see some neon? This is a freehand pattern. Made it, don't like it. <laughs> it fits me better though than that other one. It's just a bandana cowl. Neon. I don't remember what yarn this. I think this is Premier Everyday Brights. Looks like a bib. <laughs> feed me, mama, feed me. <laughs> that looks like a bib. Oh, all right. I got a bib on. And then while we were working with the neons, I made another cowl. Surprise. Surprise. And then there's a lot more in here, but I'm just going to show you this one. Ugh, let's see if I can get it. It's all the way at the bottom of the bucket. Yeah. Oh, I'll show you this. This is the one and only thing that I ever made out of darn good yarns. I got this darn good yarns from, ha, ah, like so much fiber from, I think April, from April's Crochet. And I made a cowl out of the two little balls. And at that moment I realized I don't like darn good yarns. Cause it smell, it still smells. It has been in here for a year at least. And it still smells really salty, like salty. It's weird. And it shedded so bad. Like the, the, the silk in it sheds and it's just, I did not like this yarn at all. So that's why you have never seen darn good yarns on my channel again, because of this cowl turned me off of it. And I don't know, they may have changed their yarn since then, but that, I, that was not fun. I literally had purple silk fibers all over my shirt after I was done. And I don't like that. And then this is the last thing I'm going to show you out of this bucket and then we're going to end it. This is my Bloom Yarn Super Large Cowl. And this is the regular Bloom Yarn. This is not the Chunky. It is way, way huge, but <laughs> it was like a whole, I don't, I think it was a whole ball, but I think it was, I think this was the Bloom that I got in the dollar bin at the Premier Warehouse sale, which I cannot wait. I hope they have another one this year. And it's not, it wasn't as big of a ball. All right, so that's that bucket. <laughs> I, and you know, I'm going to try to fit these all back in here. And they're not going to fit. I hope I didn't bore you too bad. I really love the rainbow. It's like a, a clown hat or something. Hope I didn't bore you too much. I entertained you with my silliness. Oh, man. All that was stacked on my foot. Now, like, my foot can't breathe. It's hot. And you know it's going to fit back in here because now it's not all folded neatly. Ta-da! Alright, I'm going to end this video and we're going to see what's in the other bucket <laughs> in a totally different video. And hopefully we can keep it under 25 minutes this time. So I hope you all have a fantastic day and I hope you enjoyed this really weird 
in the closet series. I'll talk to you later. Bye.